interesting. Oh, this is so loud. Touch up.
to campaign and see if there's a girl there. Career or whatever this is. Should classic or I'm gonna do modern. Relax mode. I'm gonna disable it because I don't know what that means. Okay. Bye Mike. Have a good day at work. I hope you feel better for real. It sucks having to work and not feel good. I think it, it sucks having to school and not feel good. Because you're trying to learn. But. Oh. Oh, I guess I usually play in sandbox mode? Because there's usually stuff all over here. Am I running out of time? You can use the laptop to pin a recipe. This laptop? Okay. Where's my grill? What's this? <laughs> what is this? It's Mimi. It's a fire extinguisher. Is this the fridge? Wow, there's nothing here. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna back out. This is so cute. Cooking is an art. I wonder if I can. Get, I bet I can get that from their website. If I looked, I would love to have that poster. It is such a cute poster. Yes, hello? Okay, put it down. Does it does it ring? Anyway. Back to the menu. Yes. Wait, are you sure you wanna leave? Yep. This isn't what I wanted. If I'm gonna do campaign, I'm gonna do the shelter one, because I haven't finished that. Come on, no, classic. Okay, I just want to see the grill. Work or something. Yes. Well, little dog, you're gonna have to wait a couple seconds. Sixteen minutes till ad starts. I'll take you outside on ad break. Press to start. It's for the dart board, I think. Are there darts? Oh no, just put that down. Just put it down. <laughs> I don't want to start the whole day by exploding myself. soapy water. Disappointed. I wonder if I could fill up a pan with soapy water. I've not ever seen the soap before. This is cute. But you know what I'm not seeing? A grill! Is this the grill? Grill? 
think this might be the grill, and it's not like a grill grill. Which would make so much sense. Why was I expecting some little dinky grill? And, uh, um, anyway. Can I open it? Well, that's gone forever. <laughs> okay. This isn't even what I want to do. Back to menu. Fine. If I don't get a little dinky girl, I'm just gonna go do the other thing. New game. Shelter. Alright. Hmm. We, like that other kitchen, we start from scratch, so we don't have anything. We have to build it up. But this is like, this one is way cooler than the rest of them. I like the bakery one because it totally has like a Instagram style aspect to it. <clears throat> you can make some horrendous looking cake and then like post it to their Instagram and people love it. <laughs> and that's fun. I enjoy that. By the end of the 1980s, the old world disappeared in the flash of Oosh. nuclear explosions. Those yeah. that survived were forced to fight for basic resources. Successive generations of hey, mankind kind of struggle on in the hope the of one day rebuilding. Growing up in the wasteland, you practiced the art of cooking. You did this for survival, but also to give people a taste of the world they had lost. You found peace in the day you met your wife, and two of the best moments in your life were the times your sons were born. One day while out hunting, you were attacked by bandits. You managed to escape, returning to your camp only to find it looted and destroyed. Oh, it says find us. The only sign of your family was a note left behind in your wife's handwriting. It simply read, find us. I know I played this a little while ago. But After a long journey, bad. you finally come to Sector 12, a well-populated area near an abandoned and broken-down long-distance communication satellite. You discover a small shelter with a well-stocked kitchen, a good place to cook and sleep while you try to get the satellite dish operational again. It. Welcome to the shelter expansion. The journey here was long and exhausting, but there's no time to rest in the wastelands. You need to get on the road again, this time to the satellite dishes. You're lucky that the gear in the shelter is well preserved, so you can use it to prepare some supplies for your travel. You used to have to take out the player's handbook. <laughs> I love the little doodles! It's so cute! Pin it. Canned meat, barbecue sauce, and cactus oil. This would be another cool one in VR, I think. <laughs> but mainly because I can't cook IRL. <laughs> There's nothing in these drawers, and I can't, I can't close them. Huh? Boots. Can I wear it? Does my boot? It's got spiky things on the front. Home. What is this? What is this? Is it telling me where to go? Cause I don't need this line. Aggressively telling me where to go. I immediately was like, oh, an ammo crate. Put it down. Can I put it on the shelf? Yeah, put it on the shelf. Oh wait, that's a grow shelf. Those are little lights! Is the way out? What is this? Look, it's the grill that I've been wanting to use this whole time. 
whatever. We can grill rats. <laughs> It'll bring me joy. Oh, it's the bear. Bro, why you keep that out like that? That's a little creepy. That's really pretty. Home sweet home. Junkyard. Great wastelands. I can't even... I can't read that. I don't know what that says. Plane? Swamp. <laughs> oh, it's a swamp! Maybe we'll see Shrek. We're gonna invade his swamp. And steal his mushrooms. See, these are grow, grow lights too, right? Empty plot, yeah. And Wauda. Do I have running water, actually? Yeah, I have a sink. Cute. Oh, it's taped too. I wonder if I can change the scenery. <laughs> While holding the object, put it back. Put it down. <clears throat> Open. And then put it down. Is it... Get out of your stupid... I don't need the stupid tutorial. How much canned meat? 500's in a thing. Barbecue sauce. What's is this barbecue sauce? Oh, jeez. Okay. In VR, can't you have like two things and one in each hand? Okay. What's this? Blender. Skewer. It's like they took the thing of spam and was just like, Ugh, onto the. <laughs> Wop. <coughs> Grill for 60 seconds. Pour 10 milliliters of barbecue sauce. Hold on. I had to buy this bowl? Do I have monies? How much? 10 milliliters. Where's the dot? Okay. Three. Boop. Aw, oh, man. Too much. By like a little tiny bit. Okay. Pour 10 milliliters of cactus oil. Oops. Whatever, at least it's even. No. Set it down gently. I know I should probably be timing it, but I'm pretty sure the, the, the bar in the middle is, like, the timer. I think that's how I've always done it. But... Mm, excuse me. Seems to be a really long minute. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, and then turn off the grill. I was right. Put the kebab on a plate. Oh. So I drizzled the stuff. Why is it all the way over there? That's fine. Spam kebab. Why does it have to be on the counter? Fill a pipette. Got my pipette. Is my pipette clean? <laughs> Probably not. Twenty. Okay. Use the pipette. How do I how do I move it? Can I not move it? The pipette also gives you additional options. With it you can take liquids from bottles by using click and mix them freely. Emptying the pipette's contents into the container is also easy. Use other click if you're happy with what you've drawn into the pipette. You can always throw the contents away by using click while aiming at the trash can. Wah! Trash can! <laughs> okay. Put the dish away for serving? What is... Oh, that's what these heat lamps are for. Okay. Mmm, yummy. Spam kebab. I'm totally knocking it, but... <laughs> It actually sounds kind of good. <laughs> Pin the second recipe. Add 700 milliliters of broth to the pot. Boop. Chicken broth, chicken broth. This pot. Does it matter? Whatever. Huh. Oop. Okay. No, oh, a little more. Okay. Almost. Add 150 G's of potatoes. One that's one potato. Add 100 grams of green mushrooms. That potato looks kind of bad. How many are there? 50. So two. Put the pot on the stove. Pot on the stove. There's already a pot here. Cook the soup. Get the sour cream. How are you going to have sour cream in the apocalypse? Oh, ad starts in five seconds. Hang on. Does this pause? Is it pausing? Yeah, I think it's pausing. Okay. Be right back.
sit with me? Come on. You gotta turn around now. Okay. 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 Now the little dog went potty outside. He's a good boy. Mwah. Thank you for kisses. What? Okay. I'll just pick up a hot pot. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to do that. <laughs> Put it back on the stove. Okay, and then blend the contents with this jank looking blender. Down here. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, soup. Milliliters of sour cream to the pot. Fifty. Okay. Twenty milliliters of cactus oil to the pot. Whoops. This is a deep plate. This is a bowl. So this needs to go back over here. With a what? A ladle? Oh, okay. That's two ladles, it's three hundred. Put the ladle back on the wall. Dunk. Yeah. How did I do? Oh, it was perfect. your hats. Next. You have prepared and you are leaving the shelter to travel to the broadcast station. Last desperate hope of finding your family. Each step reminds you of your long journey. As you approach the station, you pray that the radio is working. You get inside the building and rush to the radio. Ignoring the fact that this place was abandoned many years ago, you are trying to turn on the power, but to no avail. After a while, you realize the power unit isn't the only thing missing. Radio cables, microphone, and headphones are nowhere to be found, and the screen is shattered. Another futile effort. Aww. Another dead end. You emerge from the satellite building devastated and disillusioned. Lost in your thoughts, you almost miss the rumble of engines in the distance. You notice a caravan on the horizon. A flicker of hope shines on you. They could get the parts you need. You can offer up food for trade. This can work. The clouds look cool. Filled with determination, you direct your steps towards the shelter. Excuse me. A new goal. 
There is still a glimpse of hope. You just need to find a way to contact other people in Sector 12 so you can obtain the necessary parts. On your way back, you saw a caravan traveling through the wastelands. That's your chance. It's time to roll up your sleeves and prepare something special, something they have never seen or tasted before. The way to a caravan's heart is through its stomach. Okay. Put in the recipe, carp on a stick. Tab. Carp on a stick. Tab. How many fish? The gay fish? Oh, that's so cute. Tell what that says either. It's making all the noise. Is my refrigerator cute? The dog is also cute. This fish has two eyeballs on the side of its face. <laughs> of course, it's got two eyeballs. Season the fish with tinges of mint. That's what this was. Tinges of mint, right? Drizzle the fish with the mixture prepared from the recipe. What? Oh, this. Add to bowl. What the worst of bowl I just used? Just mean my new bowl for everything now. This one, giant plastic bowl. Unless there's another one. It's not giant. It looks like vault tech. This is totally like a spoof of Fallout Shelter. Or Fallout, or whatever. this here no there cactus oil mustard cactus juice what cactus oil how much cactus oil 10 million So oil is in a square container, juice is in a rounded container. Five milliliters. And mustard. The mustard. Extra mustard. Oh, I turned to yellow. Oh no. Drizzle the fish with the mixture. <sighs> no, that's not what I wanted. Okay. 
That works. We probably won't use the big bolt anymore. Set that there. <laughs> Grill the fish. So you just skewer it, right? Do I not have any kebab plates? But I guess not. I have to buy a plate every time. Mm. Can I just like have my kitchen however I want it? Where's this? Get in the drawer. No, the drawer. <laughs> oh. Serve the dish. Oh, rat with fries. Two fifty at yeah, a piece. Not very sanitary. <laughs> Drizzle in barbecue sauce. How much? Ten milliliters. Oops. <laughs> oh, look at these crazy knives. Fry. While it's doing its thing. Potato. Cut it in four. to the pot. Potato, potato. No! Potato. Twenty little tax oil. Oh, I didn't get to 200. <laughs> it's too hot to pick up. How many potatoes? More potatoes? No, it's 150 potatoes. How did I lose potato? By cutting it. 
Okay. Whatever, there's gonna be extra bits of potato. Oh, because it's on the floor. It never made it to the pot. Pick this up now. Trash that potato. Stop, just put it in the sink. Oops. Potatoes and rat on a plate. Which plate? Regular plate? Deep plate, a basic plate. This is how it was supposed to be. I think I was just supposed to pick up the potatoes and put them in there. It was burnt. <laughs> how am I supposed to pick it up if it's hot? Okay. Hold on. Okay. Good job, spatula. <laughs> Here's your burnt potatoes and rat meat covered in oil. <laughs> that one's probably not going to be perfect. What a day. They call me Mill of Run, and that's my caravan. We supply Sector 12 with food, and you look like someone who knows how to prepare it. We saw you coming back from the old antennas. Only a wacko looks for luck out there, but you know what? I see you made some tasty looking dishes. How about a little exchange? Tea. Pleasure doing business with you. Here's a summary of our transaction. Not bad for an outcast. No one got sick. <laughs> Carp on a stick. Here you'll find comments that your customers have left. They can be surprisingly picky for people who enjoy eating worms every day. Oh, that one's perfect. This one was not. Oh, cactus oil, unwanted. Bad cutting technique. Heating mistakes, heating mistakes. Jeez, bad cutting technique. Wow, they're gonna dock me on how I cut it? How are you supposed to cut it? I cut it in four equal halves. That's what I wanted. <sighs> Perhaps civilization and nations have fallen, but trade remains strong. Enough money will buy you virtually anything. Oh, I'm happy to take something besides the food, but remember that transport also costs, so don't count on the best prices. One person's junk is another person's also junk. Here's a selection of the Wasteland's most exclusive merchandise. Keep an eye on it, but I advise against trying to steal anything, and no refunds. For easier understanding, we've divided things into tabs. You probably associate this arrangement with other caravans scattered around the sectors. You know, we don't want to be worse than those from the 10th. To change between tabs, use button's Andy. A 
I see you have some nice scrap here, but none of it interests me. But this can of canned meat looks delicious. Let's say I buy it for eight. Deal. Double click on a product to sell it. Excuse me. <clears throat> the first rule of the wasteland is that food is the most important thing. Probably homemade, or preferably homemade. You can try to grow something from these seeds, but I don't know what will come of it. Maybe mushroom. When buying, an additional window should appear to select the quantity. Oh, miscellaneous. Green mushroom seedling. How much money do I have? If you're going to trade food with us, you need a hunting weapon. You can take my old rifle. I think think of I think of it as investing in the future, so I'd better not find you tomorrow with a hole in your knee or anything. <laughs> oh, because they shot him. Or you shoot yourself. Chief, oh, the Sector 11 chef sold me these useless pep papers. They look like recipes, so I'll be happy to give them to you as I don't as I don't use them either. It's best to write them down in your cookbook. Spices. No. Proceed to continue. That was it in a very productive day for you. I hope that my small investments will pay off in the form of valuable wear prepared dishes. So here we go, and you'd better get to work. The seedlings won't plant themselves and the mutant rats won't and the mutant rats won't jump into the pot or for a hot bath on their own. I feel that this will be the beginning of a very beneficial cooperation. See you tomorrow. Smoke flavor. Ground cactus chili flakes. What is this? It's not gonna tell me. Basketball, big pot, blender, blue mushroom seedling, broccoli seedling. Seedling, carrot seedling. Ew, celery, but okay. Gas bottle, green mushroom seedling, harvest enhancer. Oops, okay, whatever. <laughs> recipes or do I just get them hunt and farm go to the surface okay no pour it Can't pour it out. Okay, whatever, we're going to surface. Aiming the rifle.
Whoops. What is this for, though? Don't throw the rifle. The generator? It's Big Al! What's up, Big Al? Cooking rats in a minute. What does this button do? What did I turn off? Oh, whatever this is. Oh, this is for bait, I think. <laughs> yeah. Super yummy. Put the weapon back on the rack. Oh, it's only me too. Go downstairs. Meat is automatically added to spawners after hunting a mutant. Meat of hunted mutants. What does that mean? Does that mean that there's more than just rats out there? If you drastically reduce the mutant population, you will need to wait for it to naturally increase again. Or the rats, just the mutants. I'm gonna plant the seeds. Look at all these seeds I got. We're gonna grow. Is this like Fallout? I think so. I'm pretty sure it's a big spoof of Fallout because look, it's a Shelt Tech. And that's like Vault Tech. And it even looks like Vault Tech. It's definitely very Fallout y. <laughs> Water the seedlings. Water. Oh, the little water symbol popped up. Okay. Boink. Cute. Why is this one not green? Oh. Okay. Fill the ground? What does that mean? Oh. Oh. Okay, growing seedlings. The liquid type used to water seedlings has no impact on the plants. All seedlings need one night to grow. The liquid used to water the seeds is no. What does that mean? I can use like a cactus juice, and it's still gross. <laughs> Be sure to check back tomorrow to harvest your crop. Watch out! Plants left unattended too long can mutate into monsters. Okay. <laughs> what is this one? Tomatoes. Broccoli. Carrot. Cactus. And the mushrooms. Whoops, hold on. There we go. These are cute little starters for the plants, though. Oh. Water truck is empty. Where's the water? Now it's all over the floor. Shift. Any water in it? Oh God. How do you fill this with water? Lid go. Um, 
the heck? the advanced controls again. And drop. Is that working? No, of course it's not. in the sink. No. No. Wait. The advanced controls. There we go. No. Why did I put the cap back on? Open bottle. Put down. That's what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. I dump all the water out. <laughs> Any water in here? No. I don't understand. You know what? <laughs> Put this. Fill this up. Get the pipe bed over here. Is that overfilling? Is that noise? Why can I not pipe it? Why? I just <laughs> I just want to really put water in it. Well, did I water? It is watered. Okay. <laughs> this is what I got now to water the plants. There. <laughs> Use the clock to finish the day. Am I done though? Dinner time. Is she a vampire? No. Wah. There we go. Whoops. <laughs> Wait, what does the sponge do? Oh, E. <laughs> okay. I cleaned up the sink. Cleaned up the bowl. <laughs> oh. 
There we go. Can't have a messy shelter. Can we? <laughs> Not cleaning the floor, though. What was this? <laughs> Whatever. You have to put it in before turning the water on. Uh, I want to see the broccoli monster, to be honest. <laughs> Is there a way to hang this up? Yeah. Okay. Small pot. What? No. Big pot. It starts dominance over little pot. <laughs> Why did I even pick this up? Okay, I guess that's it for the day. Finish the day. Yep. I got an achievement! Okay. Sold dishes. No dishes sold. Oh. Next. Here you have the entire map of Sector 12. The faction you are currently working with will be shown here. You will be able to check your progress and make some extra cash by accepting optional special orders. Mm, excuse me. Tea. Special orders are great for getting rich quickly. You will have to meet the special requirements within the limited amount of time. But if you manage to do so, you will get a nice reward. However, if you fail, you will have to pay a small cash penalty. Seems like cash runs this whole... I mean, well, that makes sense. Fire pit plant. Military base. McStump's ranch. There's the swamp. Antennas. Shh. I can't read that one. I spoke to the leaders of the camps. You seem like a smart guy, which is why I have an offer for you. If you can prove to me that you're a good cook, I'll introduce you to another leader. There are lots of rats around your shelter. I hate rats. Their only advantage is that they are made of delicious rat meat. Maybe you could make use of that rifle I gave you and shoot some rats. You could make something tasty for me. I already did that. You can search for desired recipes by their name, by the products used in them. I will be here tomorrow at 2020, so make sure you have something to trade by that time. Main two birds. Mila... The caravan leader hates rats. Biting the wires in her caravan cars is an unforgivable sin. She only appreciates them for their flavor. She would be delighted. She would be delighted when I hunt a rat and prepare a dish from it. She should be delighted. Oh. <laughs> the walls, they look dirty. You ever want me to clean the whole thing? Is that what you're saying? This looks like a cat face. Looking at the rat. She should. Okay, uh. Hunt mutated rat. Dishes required to produce rat meat. Fast feet and blueprint. Okay, so this is automatically accepted. Rat meat. Minimum radiation 17. Let's do another rat meat one. Since it's. So now I have two rat meat ones, right? Okay, next. Oh, this is at the end of the day, I suppose. Spices. Yep. Familia. No, not in the bowl. Put it on the shelf. Oh, this is how I see this. Okay, that makes sense. It's just potatoes. Where's the trash? Oh, it's right here. Trash the potato. Trash that potato. Trash another potato. 
Meat trash is empty. Meat can. Is this the thing making all that noise? Okay, I gotta hunt the rats. What is this? Fast orders. Using the radio, you can order products if you forget something upon the caravan's arrival, but it will cost you much more. When the order arrives, the green light is on. You can pick it up from the parcel chute. Oh, I don't want anything. This is the parcel chute. Oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> I don't even know if I can... If I can save stuff like that. I guess I should try. I have a fridge. Unfortunately, mutants don't pop up like mushrooms. You have to pay attention to their population status. The more mutants, the greater the chance they'll appear. But if you catch too many of them, you'll have to wait a day for the population to grow. You can check the condition of each population at any time on a piece of paper pinned to the table. They're talking like... I don't see a piece of paper pinned to the table. What table? Or is it talking about downstairs? Do I have a basketball? I have a basketball? Oh, I suck at throwing. Hoo -ha! Okay. No, my ball! It's gone forever now. I got one. I only needed to hunt one rat. Alright. I am not allowed to be on that point. <laughs> that is the end all for me there. Basketball's gone forever. It might be back in its spawn point when I go back up there, but the way everything else works, I doubt it. put music on here, but it wouldn't really work, because on internet stream. You know what? I'm just going to turn that off, just in case that's also... Turn off. Yeah. Copyrighted music. Or something. Check it out! That's not a broccoli! Look at these cute tomatoes with their purple leaves. The cactus and the mushrooms. Oh, the boosters. Crops and monsters. Collected plants appear in the prime in the pantry in their assigned spawner boxes. If you don't harvest your crops quickly enough, a plant monster may appear the next day. It's harmless, but you have to shoot it and throw it into the trash. Better not wait until the next day for it to appear. If it's harmless, can I just have one? I don't want it to be here though. Can put them here. Okay, yeah, let's take all these and then make a broccoli monster. Broccoli! Oh, I guess I have to water it first. Okay. It's gonna be a broccoli. It's Yeah, it's almost inviting you to grow a monster. I, I can see that. I want one as a pet, so we're gonna make a broccoli monster. Broccoli, broccoli. I wish I could be with the magnets around. They're super cute. I love this piece of magnet. Oh, I need to be making this lady's rat dish tab. Search by rat. Not Ray, rat. Oh, there's a bunch of dishes for rat. Rat with fries, rat shish 
Wait, rat what? I don't think I have red onions. Rat on a stick. Rat on a stick. Wait, what? Grilled rat with potatoes and rat on a stick. Wait. I got cactus juice and cactus oil. Green mushrooms. Bottle of water. I legit only have meats. Mint, smoke flavor, chili flakes, ground cactus. Okay, wait, I got bell pepper ca carrot. Red onions, broccoli. Okay, okay, okay. Tab. Do I have bell peppers? I have bell peppers. So I need two of these. Hold on. Bell pepper. 60G. And halves to 30G. What? This bell pepper's huge. Okay. Cut it in halvesies. No, 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 no. Halvesies. Okay. Squit. This one. This one's the closest. Put this down. I'll remove this out of the way. Move this out of the way. Can you stop putting them together? Okay, whatever. Just a minute. Have these. <laughs> something die? Okay, hold on. Stop that. Whoops. Uh, close enough, Habsies. Okay. I'm doing it times two. <laughs> Alright, so we've got the bell pepper. No, put that down. I need another pot. This works. Oh. <laughs> that didn't work. And then I need red onions. Okay, another havesy. Wow, that was not a havesy. What? Forty-five. Seventy-five. Close enough. Oh wait, that might actually be... Stop. Put it down. Oh, it's perfectly 60! Okay. <laughs> Do 
Oh, it was so close. 33. Wait, should, okay, hold on. And I'll set the skewer, set the skewer down. Grab, oh no, wait, I need to hit another onion. onion, I guess, and cut off its end bits. Whoops! Whoops. How do we rotate the knife? I keep trying to rotate it. 40, 72. Oh. <laughs> uh, close enough. No, on the shelf. Okay. No. Oh no. In the floor. Okay. No. Just trash it. Where do I put the bowls I already own? So I don't have to keep doing that. Shouldn't I have, like, a shelf? <sighs> Why did that make such a gross noise? Okay. <laughs> Hopefully she'll never know. <laughs> So I've got, I mean, green mushrooms, and then the meat. Wait, do I not? I do have green. No, it's broccoli. The mushrooms are somewhere else? Yeah. How many? A50 and have since two point. Okay. So I need two of them then. Cut a mushroom in half. Oh, I did it! Close enough. figured out how to rotate. 27 and 23. And then the rat meat. She only need one piece. even. 150. 97. How much do I need? 80. Uh huh. My knife is not cutting anymore. Stop that! 
Oh, 80. And 40 gram pieces. That one's close enough. Okay. Is that 59? 29. 30. I'm, uh, I'm messing this up a lot. 29 and 30. Stop that. <laughs> That's 70. Oh, 41. Here's one. I see another one of these. 30, 29, 38. 22. 20. I'm gonna get docked for how I cut this. Okay, what is it? 70? And I need it to be. Stop that. Cold is enough. Twenty. Thirty-one. The other's gonna get more meat. It's gonna be the same. It'll be fine. Right? Mushroom. Meat stuff. Mushroom. Meat stuff. Wait. 38. There we go. stuff. Everything's on the skewer. Look at it. I did it. Kind of. Do I not get the plates back when I serve them? I guess not. Hmm. Can do I I don't think that they're going to be happy with the 220s instead of a 40, but it's it's going to be okay. I'm not counting, mainly because of this. You see the little bars? Once all those are full, that means it's done. I usually don't count because it's always wrong. Mm -hmm. Who's beeping at me? Is it the caravan? Am I late? She said 2020. No. Okay, as soon as it seems like the bell pepper is taking the longest, whenever that reaches the end, it should be done. Things are burning. All right, bell pepper. Okay. After placing a dish in the checkout window, you need to assign it. On the left, you can assign the dish to a main quest if they're prepared to smooch the requirements. On the right, you can assign the dish to a special order if active. Lastly, on the top right, you can assign the dish to regular trade, where the dish doesn't need to meet any requirements, but it does affect the camp's radiation levels. Oh, super radiate the camp.
Did I assign the dish? Wait, which one had... The oh, this one has the extra meat. Yeah, that's fine. Assign dish. Close. Right, and that's the end of the day. Or do I need to end the day? Oh, before I end the day, I definitely want to plant some more stuff. Blue mushroom. Green mushroom. Somebody needs to pick them Yeah, somebody needs to pick them up. But that's what they're saying. They'll she'll be here by 2020. And that's soon. And I think that's like the time limit I have. Celery. Tomatoes. out of water. That sound does not mean that it's full. <laughs> okay, uh, this one. I like the little indicator. That would be cool to have something like that in real life. Okay, yell at me when my poor lucky bamboo is dying of dehydration. Tab. Can unpin this rat steak. A rat shellick or whatever it's called. So I'm going to go ahead and end it. Yes, end the day. The caravan has arrived. Oh, cool. I got a lot of money for that. Sold dish details. I got an achievement too, but I didn't see what it was before it went away. Bad cutting technique, heating mistakes. <laughs> oh, I guess because they got burned a little. stars. <laughs> hey, they didn't even get uh, mad because I did extra chicken, which should have been on yeah, the bonus, the special order. Maybe that's the bad cutting technique. Pretty edible. I definitely prefer rats in this form. <laughs> Since you're interested in the old broadcast station, I have some information that might interest you. The locals took most of the useful parts. Lucky for you, I found this blueprint that could help you repair your radio, I think. Chicken, is that what you've been telling them? <laughs> no, she knows they're rats. She, like, hates rats. And she was like, you need to hunt them and cook them. <laughs> if I remember correctly, I saw the antenna cables at the McStump Ranch. I can ask around. I bet they'll be using them to tie up cows or hang laundry. Real tech-savvy guys, that bunch. Hey, Big Al, did you uh, vote on next week's game? I don't know if you can even see that stuff. Quest completed. I hunted a rat and prepared a dish for Mila Run. From it... Oh, from it. She looked pleased and promised to ask for the radio parts. I also got a blueprint from her, which may prove to be useful for repairing the radio. What does fast feet mean? Story item. Perfect claim. Oh, Randy McStump. <laughs> How's it going, partner? My name's Randy McStump. You've probably heard of me before. After all, we rule this here sector. Oh, God. 
Mila from the caravan said you needed some cables. I don't know what you want to tie, but lucky for you, we have these cables. We're even willing to give them to you in return for a favor. Our champion cow's fallen ill and don't want to eat nothing. She don't even want to touch her favorite dish, survivalist kebab. If you're as great a cook as Mila said, then prepare us a survivalist kebab. Just remember that our cow is a real gourm gourmand. Gourmet. <laughs> so do your best. <laughs> I'm cooking for a cow. <laughs> Where do I vote? I'm not sure if you can see it because I don't know if like tablets and phones can see it. But I know that like when I logged in, it like popped up on the right hand side for me. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do polls. <laughs> There's one that was built in, but it, it, max timer was 10 minutes, and I wanted the poll to go like all throughout the stream instead of just 10 minutes, because that doesn't seem like long enough. Not for when I only have like a couple people stopping by. So I'm just being indecisive about what I want to play next week, and I didn't want to start anything new today. Mind the radiation level in our camp, but the food that people eat can increase or lower the camp's radiation levels, depending on the food's radiation level. In the handbook, you can check the radiation of each recipe. If you keep radiation in the preferred range, you'll get a tip for every dish sold. <sighs> McStump's Ranch. Alright. Stilder Camp. Is that other one I couldn't read. Fire pit plant. Heatproof gloves, mixed dump recipes. Let's just focus on the one instead of trying to do two this time. Escape. Next. What are the options? Oh, um, Spirit Farer, which is, I've not played that one, so it'll be first time playing and Bastion, which I have played before. So it's one I haven't played and one I've beat before. But I know Bastion has a really good story. And I'm, I wanna play Myst, but I wanna give it a, a minute before I start, just because I, I just came out of like a, the last game was a puzzle game, and my brain is <laughs> So I just wanna give myself a break before I started that and play something else in between. That's 50% off. Not sell, buy. The one you haven't played before. Oh, okay, Spiritfarer. Okay, well, let me write that down. Just so I don't forget that you have a vote for Spiritfarer. But I had a feeling that's what most people would prefer to see me play something I haven't played before. Country just country music just went down my road. <laughs> it's not often. You just don't usually hear that around here. <laughs> okay. Um products. I have all this stuff I think. Miscellaneous. <gasps> Number basketball. Gas bottle, harvest enhancer, knife. Next. In the day. Alright. The surprised reactions are the fun are fun to watch. I agree with that. Especially when it's like it's a, ga a game I've played and then I go to watch my streamer play. Like I like to see that. One of the games that I've been thinking about is called Reseteer, and it's really weird because I was I was thinking about playing it, and then uh, Robaz started playing it because he's doing a Seth week. What am I doing? I'm wasting time. Tab. Oh, get rid of the rat. Survivalist kebab. Pin. Tap. 
Take canned meat. Open canned meat. Skewer it. Grill for 60 seconds. Is this the same thing I made to begin with? Drizzle in. Barbecue sauce and package oil. How much? Ten milliliters. Oops. Oops. <laughs> so much barbecue sauce on it. the kebab plate. Oh, it's ready. This the... I don't know. I'm gonna make another one, just because I don't know that the drizzle in thing works. This is my last can of canned meat. Oh, well, this will be it, I suppose. Open. Why'd I put it over there? sign. Regular trade. These are all games I've never really heard of before. I collect all the free ones on Epic Store, but I've never really played them. Oh! I try to collect the ones that, like, catch my attention. I lost the thing. Uh, I definitely don't sleep on some of those games, because I, I, I got My Time at Porsche, and that's one of my favorites. I got that from one of the free epics. Boop. Okay. Then we're gonna drizzle. Right, cactus oil, 10 milliliters. It's going on the cutting board. One milliliter, two milliliters, three milliliters, four milliliters, five milliliters, six, oh, there we go. It's all over the cutting board. <laughs> Okay, and then barbecue sauce. Thank you. It's not telling me that it's on there. Ten, right? Yeah. Let's slap it on the table. Grab another kebab plate. It fell on the floor! Shh. He won't know. There we go. It's for a cow anyway. <laughs> I guess I need to buy more canned meat. Harvest the tomato. That's a celery. The 
leak and leave the broccoli. Carrot and I guess my red mushrooms. A gourmet cow eating her own kid. I get seedlings from the caravan at the end of the day. Oops. Q. <laughs> it spilled out for a second. That was kind of funny. I don't think it'll let me water it. If I touch it, it'll harvest it. I don't want to do that. And then tomorrow, I should have a broccoli monster. I'm so excited. Okay. I guess I'm going to tab. Unpin this. And end the day. Yep. <laughs> Only four stars. Oh, too much of the oils. Everything else was perfect, even though I dropped it on the floor. Too much barbecue sauce. So that tells me that it still works when it's on the grill while it's rotating because it would have said not enough next good kebab nice not too sweet look at our champion cow scarfing down the kebab she'll be a healthy cow in no time I had to bring her cause she couldn't I had to bring her cause she just couldn't wait as for the cables they got lost somewhere but don't worry we'll kindly give you these recipes you're welcome I have a feeling that if you continue to cook for us, we'll be able to find these cables. Uh-huh. They're lost. We got recipes. Perk, heat proof gloves, kebab with fries, armadilla <laughs> on a stick, <laughs> cucumber soup, and fried potatoes with mushrooms. <laughs> Floor grit just adds to the flavor. Well, for the cow, I'm sure she loved it. I don't understand this. I guess this is their rads. Hey there, partner. The champion cow is doing much better. Oops. Since your kebab, her appetite has improved so much that she eats all the time now. Literally everything within reach. And now we have the opposite problem. She's so stuffed that she can't defecate. She can't. She's so stuffed that she can't defecate. Since you're partly responsible, responsible. I figured you could help us. How am I responsible that your cow can't poop? <laughs> Perhaps oh, prepare her a kebab with fries and add a laxative to it. Best to add the whole dang package. Ew! Uh, for real? Make a servant for me too. Make a servant for me too. In this here world, not only cows deserve such luxury. Just don't put anything in it. So one has laxative and the other one doesn't. Use one of the recipes I gave you earlier. You can search handbook recipes by camp name to find something for me. Clogged champion. Wow. After champion ate what I had prepared. Oh, her name is champion. Duh. After champion ate what I had prepared, she recovered and regained her appetite, but that damned Randy fed her something strange again. This time, the poor cow is having trouble with her guts. I, ha I have to prepare a kebab with fries and add a laxative to it. Additionally, I have to make a special dish for Randy. I will choose from his recipes that he also 
uses to feed champion. Dish requirements. Makes stuff strange. Oh, okay. So his can be anything that came from him. Hers has to be a kebab with fries. Next. Armadillo meat. Garlic. buy two just in case I mess this up. Anti-monsterio. Armadillo lure. See, there, here's the seedlings. Carrot, celery. I think I grabbed all the seeds, though. any spam and I think I need spam look at it look at it monster plant yes it's adorable can I feed it I brought you a tomato Here, eat this tomato. I put it next to you. <laughs> Cute. What should we name him? His name is Brock. It's Brock, because he was broccoli. Brock. Beef jerky, pickled cucumber, sourdough. Did I have these before? Okay. <laughs> the Brock Monster. <laughs> He's cute though. Cutting board, be straight, okay. Where did the laxative go? There should be two of them somewhere. <laughs> oh, would it be in the fridge? Salty butter? I don't see the laxative. Oops. Can I pick this up? I cannot. Okay. Yo, where's the laxative? What is this? What do you want? <laughs> oh. How do I open it? Okay. Oh, I just had to put it down and collect the order. Okay. 
I have an ad starting in a minute. And I have to run to the restroom when my ad starts. <laughs> I wish I'd leave footprints when I walk through this. Alright. No, don't pin this. Mixed Dumps Ranch. Kebab with fries. Rat with fries. Kebab with fries. And... Mixed Dumps Ranch. We'll make him some cucumber soup. Oh, I can only do one at a time? Man. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna beat Ad.
you drinking my coffee? You guys didn't yell at Data? He was drinking my coffee. You're supposed to yell at him. Alright, I'm back. I'm sorry. I ran off. Continue. What a jerk. Okay. Take can meat. Uh oh. I already have a problem. There was a way to order stuff. It was here, it was the radio. Canned meat. Just one. Because it's extra. I close. No. Bye. Sure. 30 seconds. Cut a potato in the quarters. So two potatoes. Why can't I pick that up? That would be perfect. Package ready! Oh, okay, it just says plus one. Excuse me. Mm, excuse me again. Open. Where did the lids go? They just disappear. How do I take the meat out? Seasoned with chili flakes, ground coffee. Gross. Oh, garlic. Oh, there's stuff that can hang? Cute. Ground coffee. How much? 10 grams. I can't do it here. Put it back on the shelf. Why can't I just have a little table right there? Why can't it work right there? You can't season it while it's in the thingy. It says take canned meat and then season and then skewer. the potatoes. How much did this get? I don't know. I didn't see it's not saying how much it got. Could I have put it on a plate? <laughs> Whatever. Where's the chili? <laughs> You know what? 
no more cutting board. Then I can't season the cutting board. But it's not there. Yep. Solved my issue. Eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> so barbecue sauce. Ten milliliters of barbecue sauce. There went the <laughs> Oh, too much barbecue sauce. <coughs> right, okay. Barbecue sauce, ground coffee, chili flakes. Then it gets the potatoes. Three hundred. Right, one fifty and one fifty. That's three hundred. Close enough. No, no, no. Okay, kebab with fries. There's the kebab part of it. Let's potato add to baking tray. These have been down here the whole time. Okay, where's our baking tray? I saw one somewhere. I thought this. Right? Baking tray. Okay. It's like not gonna give it to me. Baking tray. It's just gonna stack them all on top of each other anyway. Okay. Sunflower oil. Potato. Which one is sunflower oil? 100 milliliters. Hang on. Hundred milliliters, okay. Is this baking? I'm assuming. I can't bake in here, I guess. I should have set a timer for that one, I suppose. What did I do with the laxative? That's sour cream. I'm 
not done. <laughs> well, laxative goes there. Oh wait, I guess... I wish I could have more than one penned... <sighs> recipe. <clears throat> so I need to make what's-his-faces. <gasps> I have a mop! Check it out! Mop, 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 mop. I clean the floor. My mop looks like it has a jelly handle. Whoop. Can't clean the floor there. Okay. Cute. Oh. There we go. Oops. Doesn't really look like a kebab. <laughs> it's empty now, right? Yeah. Well, with fries, with the laxative. <laughs> okay, and then tab. What? This doesn't look easy. Caravan, caravan, caravan. Fried potatoes with mushrooms. Yeah, let's do this one. That one looks easy. Oh my gosh, I lied. We're just gonna do the soup. Soup. Potato, pickled cucumber, a single onion, broth, sourdough, 300. Not the f okay. I mean, this works too, I suppose. Why did it go beep beep? Oh shoot. Okay. How do I get a single pickle out of the jar? Okay. A hundred. Three hundred. So I need three. I 
can't put the pickle back in the jar. <laughs> oh no, for real? I broke the jar. There, I think I got all of it. Okay, I need another pot. Here, this works, I guess. All the crap that just... Oh man, I'm not finished! Okay. Broth and sourdough. What kind of broth? Chicken broth, I guess? How much? 750? Oh no. <laughs> oh, okay, it's just not adding to it. Five something. Six. That's definitely too much. Wait, seven fifty? Oh, it was right almost close. Sourdough. <sighs> Celery root. It was weird looking, wasn't it? Salty butter. Water. Sourdough. Ugh. How much? Two fifty. Now it's just a mixture. I think I got it. Okay. Boil for a hundred seconds. hundred and twenty seconds. Well, how do I pull pull the potato out? Sour cream and salty butter. Salty butter. 100 grams of sour cream. It should already be in here. Transfer onto a plate. Each serving consists of 300 soup, 550 potato. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut the potato then. <sighs> what did I knock off? Potato goes on the plate. How much potato is this? Doesn't go on the plate. Because 150 potato. And I need 50 potato. What? Cut. Did 
52 close. Wait, no, I need this salty butter and the sour cream. How much sour cream? 100 milliliters. This was sourdough, not sour cream. Whoops! Where's the sour cream? I could have sworn I had it out here already. Oh. No dishes sold. Next. Next. Okay, hold on. How come he didn't take the... One, two, three, four. Let's do five. You didn't take the one because it was there, right? Is it still there? Yeah, okay. So I have to do it at the same time. Anyway, <laughs> sour cream. It's probably ruined. Then, look, see, it was right here, in front of my stupid face, the whole time. Okay, there's 50 potato. And how? 300 milliliters of broth. Okay. Why is it not filling? In my defense, it said plate. Okay. Whatever, close enough. There we go, close. Well, okay, see, it says on the little thing over here, transfer onto a plate, the potato. So I assumed it was just gonna need a regular plate. Because that's what these are called. And these are deep plates. So I was hoping it would say deep plate, but I guess not. Alright, I'm gonna grow some more stuff. <laughs> yeah, tell him. Oops.
I don't think he's getting any bigger. I wish I could give him some water, but I can't. <laughs> he's angry. I think he's really cute. That was a cute thing that they added. Okay. Yeah, I was hoping he got a little bigger. I might can upgrade this room. I don't know. I have a little bit left on the day. I can make more food stuff. Can I just make some more of this? Hold on. How many grams of potato? 50? What's this back here? This is where all my cutting should be, since that's where that is. 50. Ta-da! And now I have another one. Uh, that, I guess. I could even do one more. It's a big ladle. a tiny bit of potato. Here, I want to I want to change the potato. Why is it Okay, whatever. smaller. Okay. Boop. Like a realistic soup. <laughs> it's not green though like it looks like in the picture. Okay, now what time is it? I have enough time to make something else. Alright, tab. Something simple. <clears throat> Take that meat. Too fitty. Drizzle pomelo juice. I have that. Cactus oil is here. Five milliliters. Oops. Barbecue sauce. That's in the weird little bottle. How much? Five 
much. Five milliliters. Five. <laughs> Close enough. And pomelo juice. Pomelo juice? What is a pomelo? That's a pomelo, I guess. It's just ten, right? Yeah. Skewer. No crap, meat. Grill for ninety seconds. Flop. Bell peppers are yellow. Don't I have some? I'm just gonna. Okay. It needs to be. Three pieces of ninety. No, it's not that. enough. Right, 29, 16. Wow. 13, 24, 37. This one bigger than this one, but this one weighs more. So that's sixteen. Put the okay. Why wouldn't I skewer them? I guess. Oh, look, it's steamy. They look so yummy. <laughs> A whole pepper on the floor. What? bowl is now for scraps. Okay. This isn't the one. One of these, or did I throw it away already? Alright, I guess I'll end the day. 
What just happened? Clean. <laughs> Can't clean there. All right. Bop kind of sucks, but it tries. I'm gonna end the day. Rattle a stick, three cucumber soups, and a kebab with fries. Oh, what's wrong with one cucumber soup? I don't know if that's the one I cut up. Potato was too cold. Oh, probably because I let it sit forever. Potato was too cold. And this one was perfect. I was rattled a stick though. Canned meat kebab too cold. Oh, well, it sat out overnight. Too much oil. Next. Thanks for the delicious dishes. You even guessed my favorite one. Really? And my beloved cow will be able to ferti ferta fertilize our soil again. <laughs> Unfortunately, we still can't find them cables, but we have even more recipes for you and scope for your gun. Told you that working for us would pay off. We're known for our veracity and generosity. You can say generosity, but, but not ferocity. Carp with potatoes. Roast armadillo with cactus. Corn on a stick. Simple fish soup. And a scope upgrade. Mom mixed stump. Hey there, my dear cook. I'm Randy's mama and the real boss of the mixed stump camp. Oh, she's Randy's mama. She's got like boils and blisters all over her skin, it looks like. Lady, have you been eating human flesh? It looks like you might have been eating human flesh. I heard that you and my son have become friends. No, not at all. <laughs> and that you can cook real good. <laughs> Just so happens that Randy and his beloved cow are having a birthday soon. Yep, same day. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> we'll need three different dishes from our camp. Randy has already given you all our recipes, so go ahead and choose from any of them. And rest assured, this time you'll be getting cables as a reward. I'll take care of it myself. These cables are simply the champion cow's favorite toy, and Randy probably would never have had the heart to take them from her. He wasn't going to give me those cables to begin with. Today, besides Randy, his mother Mo appeared. She commissioned me to prepare three different dishes from their camp. Apparently my buddy, Randy, already gave all the recipes to me. Once I provide them with food for the birthday party, I will finally get the radio cables. Yep, he was using me to feed his cow. <sighs> Alright. I have corn on the cob. Next end of the day. Is there anything I should have ordered? Probably had some stuff to order. Un Unpin that. Okay. So I got three dishes. Shift. Whatever, close enough. So what is this? Oh, this is the fryer. Or not fryer. This is like the stove top. Alright. I gotta do three different dishes, don't I? Yep, three unique dishes required. Okay, well these two have broth. Green mushroom soup. Probably don't want to do two soups. Cucumber soup. That's one I just did in it. Green mushroom soup. 
Yeah, three recipes from his any. Let's do corn on a stick. <laughs> Alright, so green mushroom soup, corn on a stick, and something easy from him. This caravan. Carp with potatoes. Simple fish soup. Oh, this one looks simple. What if I do this instead of the green mushroom? No, because they're both simple. Well, let's do two soups then. Corn on a stick and the two soups. No meat for this man. For his birthday. Because <laughs> he was using meat. <laughs> Alright. Is there a... Is that the big pot? Okay. What am I going to need for this? An onion, garlic. Wait, 120 onion, right? 10 G's of garlic. Celery root, a carrot, and a rat carp. Celery root. Carrot. I only have 28 milliliters barbecue sauce left, and I know I'm gonna need some. Do I have any? He's gonna make veggie. Well, he's got carp, so he kinda has meat, I guess. Just pureed fish. What was I looking for? Barbecue sauce. Yeah, we got some more. Stop that. Grab the garlic. Alright, there's the first dish. What was the other one? A potato and green mushroom. Out of potatoes. Excuse me. What was the other one? Oh, the corn. Jalapeno. Do I have cheese? I don't think I have a jalapeno. There's cheese. Jalapenos. How many do I need? One, right? Fifty. Yep. Cheese. Oh shoot. Okay. <sighs> Giant block of cheese. Salty butter. the corn messed up looking? It is. It's funny corn. The potato. Where's the jalapeno? The jalapeno. Oh, this already looks good. I can already tell you uh, I want this. Alright. Cut jalapeno into halves. 25 and 25. Wow, so 
close. Okay. Cheese. 75. Okay. Well, it is a 150 block. Can I, how do I rotate it? No, don't rotate that way. I want it sideways. Okay, whatever. Okay, put this down. 76. 74. Just three pieces, I suppose. No, put it back on the wall. 26, 22, and 28. Close enough. Add to the pan. Oh, I put it up, didn't I? It fell down. Hello. Oh wait, salty butter. Where's the salty butter? Fry for 60 seconds. Add to the pan the jalapeno. What made that sound? It's melting, look! That's neat. <laughs> I've never seen it melt before. Bye, salty butter. Jalapeno is fine. Take corn on the cob. Drizzle in mixture. So what is the jalapeno for? It's just making that butter spicy? Whoops! <laughs> I didn't see that I was supposed to cut the salty butter. <laughs> It's gonna be okay. I just have to drizzle it. The spicy, salty, buttered corn. With cheese. Um, I mean, we're almost done with this one. I can go ahead and skewer the corn. Okay. Just waiting for the jalapenos. Where's my puppet? Isn't that puppet? Oh, why not? Because it's hot. Well, how do I drizzle the mixture? No, 
Okay. <laughs> there went most of the mixture. Is it because it's skewered? No, why is it all the way over there? Just drop it. Take the mixture. Oh my god. Change pick mode. Why? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> okay. I could pour it into the pot. Pick up the corn. Put it back down. <laughs> I don't know if it's drizzled on there or not. This and the cheese. Oh my god, I made a huge mess. What was the point of the jalapenos? God, we spent so long making this. <sighs> what was the other stuff? Fish soup. This is for the, yeah, the ranch. <laughs> this is blocks of cheese. <laughs> oh, whoops, turn that off. Okay. Cut celery root into halves. Yeah, but it's 200, not 400. Close enough. Carrot. This is 150. So it's half a carrot into halves. What did I do? Here it's not 200. Shh, 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 I didn't do that. You can look here it. And close the door. Okay.
Oh, I need two carrots. That's why the numbers aren't adding up. Okay. Oh, snap. Perfect. Both pieces 25. And then 28 and 22. Red carp into quarters. Rad carp. He's. Ugh, okay. Close enough, I guess. <laughs> 200. Take a tiny bit off. Whoops. 14. Close enough now, I guess. Into quarters. Give him the most unappealing part of the fish. Yeah, you get to eat fish butt. That's what you get for being a jerk to me. Ew, fish butt. Alright, add to pot. Broth. 750. Looks like the pot ate it. Broth. Wait, was that it for the broth? Yeah, I, should, I need to order more broth then. Seven fifty. I got seven twenty-two. Oh, right on the money. <laughs> oh no, it's got plus one. <laughs> Barbecue sauce. Carrot and red rad carp. Carrot Badunk Badunk. I think I could have just picked up the pot and added them. Yeah. Soup. 
Alright, and then next, what was the other one? We got corn on a stick. We're gonna do green mushroom soup. Literally all the broth that's left. green mushroom. I need two green mushrooms. Wait till the carp is done. Jeez. Boil it or not boil it. Chop it. Where did the thingy go? This thingy. Yeah. I don't know if it's for his cow. It was definitely for one of them for their birthday. Okay, that's the first soup. Hold on. Each serving consists of 300 milliliters. Okay. Okay, and then if I finish this one real quick, I'll get it for the day. Tab. Green mushroom soup. Stop. No. Okay. Boil for 60. Wait, where's the other green mushroom? No. Oh, the day ended. Dang it, I was so close. Oh, the one I did sell was good. Okay. Broth. No, put it back. This will be cold. I think everything else will be cold. It's just left overnight boiling. Sour cream. Cactus oil. Where's the sour cream?
At least a lot of these dishes make like a ton, especially for the soups. I guess his birthday's gonna be late. <laughs> Blend. Where's the blender? I just had it, didn't I? Oh, okay. Sour cream, 50 milliliters. Nice. How much cactus oil? 20 milliliters. Man of cactus oil. <laughs> mm, I don't know how much cactus oil made it, but Okay, it's the bottom. Yay! This does not meet the requirement. Okay. Put down. How does it not meet the requirement? Hang on just one second. His birthday dinner is gonna be late, but I didn't I didn't pause that or anything. Well, I have a day I guess to come up with I don't understand why that didn't meet the requirement. Maybe it's not gonna be three stars because it cooked overnight. Just put it down. Well, right? Is it because there's already a soup? Fine, fine. We'll do this one. Caramelized vegetables. What? the heck?
It's sponges. It's dish sponges. That's why I can do the dishes. <laughs> Wait, no. Don't put it on top. What's wrong with you? Okay, 118. enough I think season with ground cactus does it all have to be one piece you know what here let's just not get as much ground cactus smoke flavor and chili flakes let me try something Chili flakes. That's beef jerky. Nice. Whoops. Forgot about my plants. And now they're all monsters. Uh we'll just ignore that for now. Where's the chili flakes? No, that's not what I want. <laughs> chili flakes. Whoops. Got one extra. No, 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 no! Okay. Bake for 180 seconds. Okay, cut red again, cactus. Wonk, wonk. Red onion, cactus. So four? You want me to cut this onion into fours? That did not cut into a fourth. Into quarters.
50. Close enough. Okay, add to pan, sunflower, red onion, and cactus. There's the cactus, red onion. Where's the sunflower oil? Yep. How much sunflower oil? 15 milliliters. in the red onions. Oh yeah, huge food contamination issues all over the kitchen. They're all on the plate. I'll just take this giant chunk of meat. Okay, it meets the requirements, finally. Heat this back up and serve it some more. There we go. Look at all that food. This is a huge mess. Alright, I gotta go to the shed and do what must be done. Okay. I don't cut it, I just smack it with the butt of my knife. Okay, then I gotta put the knife down. Oh, I have to pick them up one at a time. Hang on. <laughs> Poor little monster babies. Just wanted to have a little chance at life. More than one trash can? I cut it. I cut it up and put it in a soup. Oh, I can't cut it up. Can I put it in one of these soups? It won't let me put it in this soup. Okay. Bye, buddy. What's my time for the day? 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, yeah, let's end the day. And that should be into my stream at 6 o'clock. Okay. Mm.
tastes better than it looks. I got an achievement. <laughs> Excuse me. Green mushroom soup. Too much cactus oil. Too much green mushroom. Too much potato! I used what you wanted! Cord on the stick was perfect, even though it was just chunks of cheese on top of it. Because I'm leaving. <laughs> okay, next. Hey, you cooked real good. It's a pity that your previous meals were wasted on the cow's palate. In any case, thanks to you, my son's birthday and his champion cows will be a great success. And as I promised, here's your cables. Good luck fixing the radio station. Finally got the cables from Mixed Stumps. Well, they're very un they're a very unusual family. I hope that the champion cow won't cause problems for them anymore. Weird. Lisa. Ravik. My name is Lisa, and I'm the leader of the Stel Stelder camp. This should be enough for now. I don't know you, and we mutants aren't very trusting towards strangers. Oh, she's a mutant. I heard from Mila Run and the mixed stumps that you know how to cook and we're willing to trade. We need to raise the level of radiation in our settlement. When it's too low, residents complain of headaches and lack of energy. Prepare dishes for us that have high level of radiation. If the radiation level in our camp is high enough, we'll help you repair the radio. Oh, okay. So they want radiation. Thermal vision. Okay. Alright then. I know I need some more corns. No, escape. Alright, in the day. <gasps> okay, well it's six. That was a yummy stream. Thanks. It did make me hungry. I'm starving. I wish I could make that corn on the cob thing, because that looked really good, but I'd want them with cheese all melty on top of it. That that seems really awesome. Thanks for hanging out with me, big gal. Thanks for hanging out on the Friday stream. And it looks like we're going to be playing Spiritfarer next week. So that should be what I start on Monday. But as always, have a great weekend. And I'll see everybody on Monday. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.